The Research Center for Advanced Manufacturing is part of Southern Methodist University's School of Engineering, and the Rapid Prototyping Lab is in the basement of the Embry Building on campus. Radovan Kovacevic is the professor in charge of the lab. The lab has donated the use of one of its 3D printers to what is called the Rapid Sculpture Project. The Dallas company, Van Dusen, has taught 14 local artists how to create their own Rapid prototypes. Rapid prototyping accelerates the entire process of designing and building a model of a new product until it's a matter of only days or hours. After the initial digital design is done, it's sent to a 3D printer. Imagine an ordinary inkjet printer that doesn't lay out ink on sheets of paper, but lays out thousands of very fine layers of plastic, resin, rubber, or even metal. It eventually builds up a new dental implant, car part, children's toy, or sculpture. Nancy Hairston is the president of Van Dusen, the creator of the Rapid Sculpture Project. Ginger Fox is one of the 14 artists whose work will eventually go on display in California, then in Dallas. This is the first time Fox will see pieces of her sculpture, a sculpture that has only existed as a two-dimensional image. Basically, it takes a 3D model and it cuts it into very thin slices, and it starts end up having a series of 2D profiles. So it uses a uh, regular HP uh, printhead to drive binder into every layer, so it kind of scan prints a profile of binder on every single layer that it spreads on top of the bed. The binder Slow is the glue? Yes. Slowly building up to make the 3D, 3D part. And when you say HP head, you mean uh, just a Hewlett Packard printer head? And it's an HP 11 print head, yeah. We have a, there's a black one in there and there's a, uh, a color one as well, so we can actually print stuff in color. And to give you an idea too, this printer here is a million dollar printer. This one's about a $40,000 printer. So the quality, obviously, of the, dif the differences. So these, these pieces here are FDA-approved titanium pieces. So that machine, when it comes out, has this sort of level of detail. Mm -hmm. But it can be highly polished to develop, you know, this is a... a so it comes out like this and, it, and then it can be polished. Yeah. Too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're functional parts, so, so you go... Yeah. Rapid manufacturing more than prototyping. Yeah, so there's there's two terms. There's rapid prototyping, which is what this is more of. There's rapid manufacturing, which is what this is more of. Understood. Because um, these are deliverable pieces. <laughs> wow. Very nice. Very, uh, this is like, I, I don't even know what to say. But it's very cool. <laughs> See how this fits together? I have four of these that will be hanging above my... Oh. Wow, this looks better th than I... It looks better in reality than it does on, you know, the computer. It does feel powdery? It is powdery. It's... Until you seal it, as long as you... Right. Ideally, this would actually would have to go out of the machine right into a ceiling tank, and then that's it. You know, this was kind of my prototype, which is very wonderful to see. I mean, I think it's, I, I think it's going to be just a wonderful piece. I'm thrilled. It's so delicate. It's very, very delicate. Did it break again? Yes. You can put it again, it's fine. 